Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm here with the Houston Public Library to bring you guys another book chat. Today we are going to be talking about one of the most delightful and rejuvenating books that I read last year, The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. This recently published modern fantasy brought me so much joy in 2020 and I can't wait to share it with you all, so let's start chatting. The House in the Cerulean Sea follows Linus Baker, a caseworker for the department in charge of magical youth. He divides his days between visiting orphanages full of magical children and filling out mountains of paperwork about the powerful kids, their keepers, and if they present a danger to society. At the end of the workday, he makes the long commute home to his house and his cat, and he reads the rules and regulations of his job before going to sleep. That is his life. But everything changes when Linus is called into a meeting with extremely upper management. After 20 years of work as a menial case manager, Linus receives a special assignment. He will spend the next month on Marsyas Island, a remote orphanage hundreds of miles from home, to audit the orphanage master and an extremely rare group of magical youths. At the orphanage, Linus meets an eclectic group of children, a werewolf pomeranian, a sprite, a gardening gnome, a tiny wyvern, an unidentifiable blob, and the son of the devil himself. But most enigmatic of this strange bunch is the orphanage master himself, Arthur Parnassus, who is unusually kind, but has the most empty case file Linus has ever seen. Although Linus approaches the situation with no small amount of trepidation, he literally passes out when he hears that one of the children is the son of the devil. He comes to love Marseille's island, the children, and Arthur. But he still has a job to do. The townsfolk of Marseille's island harbor prejudice against the children, and extremely upper management wants him to be as critical of the orphanage as possible. As Linus begins to unravel who Arthur is and why he was sent to this orphanage in the first place, he will have to decide whether his loyalties lie more with the children he was sent to inspect or with the government agency that has been his whole life. It's hard to put into words just how much I love this book, but I will try. When I was discussing it with my book club, I said that reading this book feels like getting a really good hug. At its heart, this book is a tender and loving found family narrative. Our overly serious and sometimes bumbling protagonist Linus contrasts beautifully with the Technicolor world of Marseille's Island. The delicate romantic tension between Arthur and Linus is sweet as can be, but most of all, the children at the orphanage will steal your heart. Although they start out as somewhat terrifying, uh, Talia the gnome keeps threatening to bury Linus in her garden, and Lucy, short for Lucifer, could literally bring about the end of days, author TJ Klune does a tremendous job of making the children funny and sweet and messy and vulnerable and everything you want to root for in an ensemble cast. However, for all the lighthearted warmth and humor in this book, this is also a title that doesn't shy away from difficult subjects. Indeed, Klune makes a point to tackle issues like prejudice, abuse, and cruelty in the foster care system. This book challenges both its readers and its characters to examine the ways that we box people into categories and turn off our empathy in favor of following government rules. It's a book with a moral about the power of radical compassion and good rule breaking to build a better future for the young people who depend on us. The message of this book landed near and dear to my heart and it made all the funny and sweet parts throughout the book have extra weight and value. Truly, this book is a gem in every way and I can't recommend it highly enough. That is all I've got for today. Thank you for joining another book chat with the Houston Public Library. If you want to check out this title, visit our library website at www.houstonlibrary.org. And if you want a custom reading list personalized to your exact taste, you can also request that on our library website as well. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>